This video is sponsored by Squarespace. This is the new modular medium format camera from Hasselblad. It's called the 907X 100C. This little retro looking metal box is the smallest, lightest, most powerful imaging tool in the entire world, inheriting the same 100 megapixel medium format sensor of the X2D capable of shooting 16-bit raw files. You get almost all the same features of the X2D, like the one terabyte internal SSD, a 294-point phase detection autofocus system with phase detection, and the best color science that I've ever used in any camera. The most unique part about the Hasselblad 907X, other than the obvious, the, the way it looks, this is designed to be a modular system. So I could walk out the house with this little metal box here and I got a, a medium format powerhouse in my hand. The 907X with a 45P, this is a medium format setup here. 100 megapixels. It fits in my coat pocket, bro. Like, how does that even make sense? Not only is it like low key, cause people are not gonna be looking at you like, you know, you, you don't, you look like a casual doing whatever with a film camera, but also it's, giving you that nostalgic like film experience. But if you wanna use this camera like a more traditional mirrorless camera or just any camera with a handle and with dials and buttons, like, you know, cause this one doesn't have many, you can attach it really quickly and now you get a more of a traditional camera experience, which with the portrait that I was taking, I do prefer shooting with the handle, but I can see why people would want to just go out with just this little metal box. In the box, you're gonna find these two pieces. This is the digital back, and this is the camera itself. This way. I'm right, gonna line it up at the bottom. So this is the grip that is sold separately. Um, it just connects using the one screw at the bottom here. Very nice, very nice. So since October, I've been using the X2D as my main camera for pretty much everything, like even my, my studio portraits or my on location work. This has been the camera that I've been using. The experience that I get with this camera, I love the minimal design, but at the end of the day, it has the best image quality that I've ever experienced in any camera. I made a video proving this where I compared it to the top full frame cameras, Sony a7R5, Canon R5, the Nikon Z8 and the GFX 102, even the, the GFX 102 medium format. Comparing the images in a studio environment, you will see that the image quality and the, the color science of the Hasselblad is just superior, okay? And you're not gonna see this in every, in every example that you take. There are some photos where you're not gonna be able to see a difference, but you're getting that same exact image quality on the 907X. I wanna take a quick moment and tell you about my sponsor for today's video, and that is Squarespace. Squarespace makes making a website, blog, or even an online store super simple and easy to use for anyone that wants to have an online presence or even grow their business. Now, Squarespace has made it so easy for me over the years to manage my online store, selling my presets, selling my course, now I've been able to keep things fresh with the templates that they have to offer and the features to choose from, uh, especially using their fluid engine design system. Like you, you don't need any coding or graphic design skills to make a beautiful website. Head on over to squarespace.com where you can use a free trial. And if you're ready to launch your site, you can use the coupon code Manny and you get 10% off your first purchase. The 907X also inherits the same phase detection autofocus that's on the X2D. It recently got a little firmware boost where now it has phase detection autofocus. And I think it works really well, especially for you know the first time implementing it. Um, I, truly though, it just depends what lens you're using. 
okay? If you're using an older lens like this 45P here, super small, lightweight lens, it's an older lens. So you may have some issues here and there with autofocusing and it kind of hunting a little bit. With the newer lenses, like the 90V, which is the, the portrait lens that I was using for the entire shoot, that's the best focusing lens that they have made, which makes sense. It's their latest lens. Just like the X2D, you get a one terabyte internal SSD, which can hold around over 4,000 raw photos at 100 megapixels. The one thing that this camera does not have, IBIS, no IBIS. Now, the way the camera is designed to be used without any accessories, it's one of those you love it or you hate it kind of situations, or, or you can just get used to it, you know? But to adjust your settings, all you have are these two little buttons on the right side and this little ring wheel in on the front. This right here is the shutter release button. And if you turn this ring around it, that's gonna adjust the aperture. If you wanna adjust your shutter speed, you gotta press and hold this little button on the right side and then turn the wheel. If you need to adjust your ISO or move your focus point, you have to use the rear touchscreen. The one thing that I wish I could do is set custom buttons. So instead of that ring changing the aperture, which I, I rarely ever change, I wish I could change that to shutter speed. And then the, the little button on the right side for shutter speed, I wish that I could change that to ISO. So I have access to the settings that I normally change. Now, if you use it with the grip, you can now go in the menu and customize the button so that I can map ISO to one of the top buttons. And now I have access to all of my three exposure settings using the grip and I can change it really quickly. On the left side, you have a USB-C port that's kind of like hidden away with this flap here. You can either charge or tether the camera using that. And on the other side, you have a compartment that holds the battery and the one CF Express Type B card slot. If you are a flash user like myself here at the bottom, um, hold a shutter control port and a couple of flash sync ports so that you can connect a flash to this unit. It comes with a sync cable and also this little hot shoe adapter thing here that you can just mount to the top here, removing this little plate, mounting this here. Now you can use it with a, with the flash. Okay. So technically this isn't a new design from Hasselblad. Uh, it's about three, four years ago, they announced the 50C, the 907X 50C. And the naming is, the way they name these, these cameras is a little confusing because 907X is referring to the camera in the middle here. The digital back is what the 100C is, the 50C is. The 50C was based on the X1D Mark II. Um, this is 100C because it's 100 megapixels based on the X2D. So it's a little confusing. You know, this digital back, it, what makes it so unique is that you can slap this digital back onto one of your old Hasselblad film cameras. And if you're a Hasselblad shooter, you already know this. But think about these old Hasselblad cameras from the 50s and 60s, right? These V-System film cameras. What you can do is literally slap this digital back, this digital back onto that film camera. And now you have the best of both worlds, which is kind of crazy to think about. I've personally never shot with a Hasselblad film camera. Again, all of this was all new to me. The, this boxy form factor is new to me. The more I use it, the more I start to appreciate it. You know, it's a very unique experience. There's nothing else out there that gives you this kind of experience shooting with, you know, a little box here. I can only imagine if I'm on the street, this is going to be a great conversation starter all while shooting medium format photos, you know, like super high end, the best that it can get like that's a pretty it's a pretty cool package that i think a lot of people will appreciate um personally i think for me the kind of shooter that i am i think the x2d fits me better the more traditional style but i can see myself using something like this if i just like just don't want to want to break out of that cookie cutter photo process you know what i'm saying so the 907x 100c cost eighty two hundred dollars the same as the X2D. So clearly it, it just isn't for everybody. Now, if you have shot with Hasselblad film cameras before, does this 100C 907X intrigue you at all? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are.